Okay, let's talk about editing profiles. I've got uh, in my prospector tab, I, you can see I've got my finished ground layout profile, which is my line in blue, uh, and I've got my uh, sampled surface profile, which is my line in red. I want to go ahead and edit my layout profile, make some changes to it. So as you know, if I select my profile on my screen, I can graphically pick it so I can move things like uh, my station points if I like. I can snap to things if I want and uh, change it that way. Notice that uh, on your curve information, you can select the beginning and ending of curves. So if you want to change that, you can just drag that stuff around. If you want to change things like the radius, you can go ahead and grab one of these uh, uh, triangle diamond grips and you can move uh, your, your radius of your curve up and down to any point that you like so graphically picking your grips and moving them is a good way to edit a profile as well if I'd like some more specific ways then perhaps a better option would be to select that layout profile left click on it and then give it a right click and you can go into edit profile geometry and that'll bring up your toolbar so on your toolbar you can do things where you can add a PVI if you want so if you want to insert a PVI at a certain location maybe you want to add some more curve data you can uh, type in a station or select a point on your screen and it'll go ahead and add in just a single PVI from there you can go in and add some curve data uh, maybe a curve between those two tangent points you can remove a PVI PVI or uh, move a T PVI if you like. Also, you've got some other options here where you can delete a sub entity if you like. If you, if you want to delete an entity, maybe you want to take a curve right out of there. Uh, if you take the curve out, it'll just uh, move that curve and you have to go back in and add a curve. So you could use a uh, free curve to add in a curve if you want it. So you can go ahead and add in a curve there. It'll ask you whether you want to use a length or a radius. So if I want to use a radius, I can type in my radius value and it'll add in a curve there for me. So uh, that's one option. Um, you can also go into your profile grid view as well. So if your toolbar is gone, again, you can just select your profile, your layout profile, right click, go into edit profile geometry. And then if you want to select your profile grid view, that brings up a grid view here. And there you can select things like, for instance, choose the all different PVI stations. You can change elevations if you like. Anything in that is not grayed out, you can edit. So if I want to change the PVI station at a certain point, you can go ahead and type that in. Uh, you can change your incoming and outgoing grades if you want, your profile curves, and your K values, and your radiuses. So you can change things that way also. So those are some ways you can edit your profile, and uh, check out the next segment for profile labels. Thanks for watching.